All right, guys, I'm here in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm here with Skeeter, which is the captain and owner of South Florida Fishing and Hunting Outfitters. And today we are gonna be shooting iguanas. This is a really unique experience, but also it highlights a big problem here in South Florida. And the government has now asked homeowners uh, to shoot them and kill them. And they're just really trying to do what they can to get those populations under control because they are going bonkers here. But we're gonna do our part. We're gonna shoot some iguanas and then we're gonna take them home and eat them. And I'm excited to see what happens. And joining us on this trip will be Drake, the iguana dog. <laughs> Woohoo! we're going iguana hunting, guys. Here it goes. Soon, Drake, soon we will get the iguanas. Hunting with dogs is like taking your kids. They're just so flippin' excited. It makes it so much more fun. There's like a little three foot iguana on the tips of these branches right here. I'm gonna see if I can grab them by hand. We don't want to shoot it because this, this is a park and you don't want to be shooting pellet guns we around try it. Try to be responsible. Wait. Oh. oh, there There's just a whole bunch of them in that tree. That's crazy. All right, our first iguana sighting, not our last. On safety. Okay, just make, I'll, I'll go ahead. We've been here 10 minutes and we've already seen five iguanas. I remember a time when coming to Florida and seeing an iguana in the wild was a rare thing. You look around for these iguanas and you see one and then you start seeing two, then three, then four. I mean, they're just, seems like they're everywhere. Oh, I see him. Pull it back up. Oh, you can probably jam. Oh, he got him. There Come we here. go. Oh. See more in there? That dog's up in there and three iguanas come piling out. Drake, let's go, boy. Good iguana dog. Come here, come here, right here, here, here. Good boy, good boy. Look at this. Oh, he looks like a dragon. He's got this flappy bit here and little spines. Job, Mama. Look Good at job. these claws. Holy mackerel. <laughs> you know, hitting an iguana from this distance when everything's still is not too bad. But when the boat's going up and down, the wind's pushing us around, it's challenging. You gotta be a little bit more instinctual and less like shooting out of range. It's There's a good one right there. Where? Right there on the banks. I'll tell you what guys, this is challenging, but there are so many iguanas around here. We're just seeing them everywhere. It's only the ones that hold still out in the open that we're taking shots at. All right guys, there's another invasive species. Those are Egyptian geese. The population of those are exploding down here in South Florida as well. One of the reasons why it's important to keep the iguana population down is because of their burrows. And you can see all up and down these canals, they're digging the burrows, which causes erosion and different problems as well. Don't go. Woo! Oh, that was Save. such a mess. <sighs> oh, whoo! Sammy, man, you did a great job. Good job. So there's a couple guys up here with long poles with nooses on it. And these guys are paid contractors that are paid by landowners to come and remove the iguana infestations, just like you'd pay an exterminator. The difference between us and them is, is I'm paying to do it and they're getting paid to do it. <laughs> Wait. Just in that one person's backyard, there's five iguanas that I can see right now. Six, there's another one. So, I mean, they're just thick in here. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's too high. I ain't gonna make nobody happy. There we go. Look at that guy. What a dinosaur. Look at this. Oh, look at the size of that fills the cooler, man. Well, there you go, another big one. Check it out. Got my iguana scars. Thank you. 
All right, there's a big iguana on the bank over here. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten closer. We're gonna go ahead and skin these iguanas and take them home and cook them. And I'm gonna show you guys how to cook up iguana curry. So all you're really gonna eat off of this guy is this. There's not really much anything going on there. Like a pair of frog legs right there. There you go. Nice little chunk of iguana tail. Oh, Skeeter, I had a great time. Thanks for taking me. Yes, sir. Listen, if you guys are in South Florida and you want to catch iguanas and peacock bass and all this wonderful stuff, check out South Florida Fishing and Hunting Outfitters. I'll put a link down in the video description below. That was a load of fun. And honestly, I'm anxious to try these out and taste these things. Hi, guys. Hi, you guys want to see the iguanas? Yes. Yeah. Look at this. Big Bertha. <sighs> That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 iguanas. That's gonna make a lot of iguana curry. What an interesting day. Every time I come down here to Florida, I learn something new and see something new and it's just amazing. Well, that was fun, but I think I need to get in the kitchen and start worrying about dinner. I've got some iguanas to cook up. Now you notice how my tandoori iguana is not red. Most of the restaurants add a little bit of red dye to make that really bright red barbecue look on their tandoori chicken. I just left it out because I really don't care what color they are. We got some tikka masala. You're a little nervous about it, aren't you? I'm totally nervous. <laughs> okay, grab a plate and we will take this journey together. Okay. Actually, that's pretty good. I can tell it's if you overdid this, it would get chewy in a hurry, but I think I got lucky and I didn't overcook it. But they have tail bones? No, this is a, this is a tail. Oh. Do you like the iguana? You like yeah. It's like, okay, but when you dip it in and then dip it in the rice, it tastes so good. So you like the curry, but you're not so sure about the iguana meat? Yeah. The iguana legs I cooked in the pan are a lot chewier than the ones I cooked in the oven. So, you know, learned a little something there. So not overcooking it appears to be a big deal. But, you know, still good though. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.